What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabad, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to episode number 21 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are here on Akala Island, and we have cleared the three island trials of Akala, and you know what that means. That means we are off to face Olivia and the Grand Trial to gain all of our trial, all of our crystals, I guess, on Akala Island. So if you guys are excited, sure to show some love to that like button down below, and feel free to subscribe. It is free. You guys get to be updated with all the Sun and Moon content. Check the playlist in the description for every episode for this Let's Play, if you have not seen it already, if you need to catch up. I'm not going to do a quick team recap, because we are outside here, the hyper-dimensional space d research lab place or something. Go, Nebby! You splash! Is that all Nebby knows, is splash? Is that all it knows? Ha! Huh. I was just acting like I was Crimson Seabad. You always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers. I thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Crimson Seabad and how, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. The stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Uh-oh, I'm right here. <laughs> Surprise! You're not alone. Is that a Zygarde cell over there? Oh, Crimson Seabad. Hello. Feels like it's been a while since last we met. There's a laboratory around here that studies dimensions, did you know? The professor's waiting to meet you. How are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It was really tough. That last one kind of blew us back a little bit. I would think so, but still, you made it through all three. I think that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Mud Bray there, I mean... You're just kind of really freaking awesome. I love you. I know you do. Off the to dimensional research labs through my dimensions of my decks are perfect. Give me that Zygarde cell. Give me that Zygarde cell. Here's the dimensional portal area research lab. Where is the professor? Alright, tell me where the professor is. You're in the dimensional research lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Oh, I gotta use... I gotta interact. Really? Really? I gotta go over and hit the up button? Go to the third floor. Why not? Why the heckles not? Wonder what's going on in here. Oh, hey. Hey there, honey! Like, oh, hi. Who is this? This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? She's also my wife. Ooh, Cuckoo's wife kind of fine, though. Like, you're Crimson Seabad, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. <laughs> Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Huh? No, how did I? How? He's doing his own thing, but he'll be the real deal someday. He can even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Whoa! Well, yeah, I really do. Like, good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyway, I brought Crimson Seabed here because I want you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. Like, I'd be happy to. The mysterious of Alola, huh? That means you've got to mean the ultra, the ultra wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It, like, appears that it leads to this rift that leads to an unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the ultra wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's, like, also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Like, even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were, like, feared. If the stories are to be believed, the Guardian deities of the island fought desperately against them. But, like I said, it's like all legends of folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I'd be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by, like, studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded, like, several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. What does the professor think we've got nothing better to do than read things and talk to folks? I guess so. I guess so. We've recorded so- Oh, I gotta- I guess I gotta read the bookshelf. I guess I gotta go through the books. Bronzong, it brought rains by opening portals to another world. It reversed- it was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvest. Giratina, this Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours where common knowledge is distorted and strange. Palkia, it's total control over the boundaries of space enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. Giratina, Bronzong, Magnemite, Cosmog. 
Is there another bookshelf over here that I can get to? Nope. Where's the bookshelf over here? Bookshelf over here. Do I get to read all these books? Uh, there are many writings about the inter-dream zone that exists between reality and dreams. Many writings... That, that, that one book looks out of place. Does it not? Does it not? Does it not look out of place to you? Alright, I read all your books. Alright, I guess not. Cook, wait, where do I go? Go see what you can learn from him. Alright, fine. I guess I'll talk to everybody. I guess I'll talk to everybody. I'm off to check out the Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole kit made by Pokemon, right? If you use battle teams, you can not only register six special teams through your boxes, you can register the same Pokemon to more than one battle team at a time. That's actually kind of cool. Here's the verse recorder. You can not only rewatch old Link battles you had with others, you can even hold mock battles against teams captured in the battle video. That's why battle videos are the best. There's a man named Moan who years ago published this theory about the Ultra Wormholes. Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Inter Dream Zone. Alright, Lily, tell me what you know. You're the last person. Oh, of course, Lily's the last one that I need to talk to. You wanna know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And she even got her husband, Professor Kukri, to let me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind. And she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Okay, I get it, I get it. I can find them on the bookshelves. I get it, I get it 100%. Are you gonna let me out now, Kukui? How about that, Crimson Sea Man? If Ultra Beast is really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials. Woo! Now becomes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Like, good luck. Olivia's house past Douglas Tunnel. It's in Connie Coney City. But well, watch out for Team Skull. I still have things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Yeah, it is, Hal. Diglett's Tunnel, what a lucky bunch. I want to play a place named after me, too. <laughs> Rotom, you'll have, you have your Rotom Dex. You are one of a kind. You are one of a kind, my friend. You already have your own thing named after you, and it is a Pokedex. It is a Pokedex. So we need to... Okay, so I see, I see on the map where we need to go. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. I know where we're headed. Until the cutscene pops in. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Is that the ultra wormhole? Hey, Crimson Seabed. So you made it to all three captain's trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna and Livia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, let's see, from here it's kind of near the Pokemon Center. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's my last time for me! Oh boy. Oh biggity boy. That's crack in the space. That crack in space did not look forgiving. Diglett's Tunnel. Alright. There's Olivia. What's up, girl? What you up to, girl? What you up to in this cave, girl? Huh. Oh, Crimson Seabad, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Crimson Seabad. Nice work. I see you even passed Malice Trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down, too. Be strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. The other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. <laughs> Alright. So you just gotta battle a few Diglett and get over to Coney Coney City, apparently. That's what it sounded like. <gasps> Alola Diglett! Alola Diglett! That's an Alola Diglett! Can I just throw an all, uh, Great Ball? Oh, I cannot. Can I just double kick you? Can I just double kick you? You go for your own bolos. You are fast. You are fast or clobber slow, one of the two. But young mud brain who's trying to test my stamina, give me that defense boost. I think a double kick sh should knock it out in one hit. <gasps> tangling hair. Oh, I saw that ability. So tangling hair, what it does is it lowers your speed. That's awesome. That is awesome. I am enjoying that. I am enjoying that very much so. 
Did I buy repels, actually? Hold on. Hold up. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. I do not, but I forgot I totally have a quick claw that I can give to Colonel Taser here. Totally forgot I had that. Totally forgot I had that. Get the sun, we'll be steps away from Coney Coney City. Is that so? Is that so? A dusk ball. Okay, that's good for caves and whatnot. And the like. Nope, I came the wrong way. I came the wrong way. At least there's... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock on wood really quickly. At least there's not too many encounters in here. Zubat. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect, Zubat. Oh, perfect. I can rock tomb you. I can rock tomb you. I double kicked. Rip. Ripperoni. Ripperoni. That's quad resisted. I didn't mean it, Zubat. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to annoy you. I'm sorry. Confuse. Oh my gosh. All these Pokemon confusing us. How many Pokemon know Confuse Rain Supersonic in the Lolo? That's what I want to know. That is what I want to know. Alright. Let's just go on ahead and get. Get on up out of here. Let's go on ahead and get. This is the way to Coney Coney City. I believe. Who are you guys? Are you Team Aether? Whew! With a Levian charge, you finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola! We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bring them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in an elaborate system of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on near the surface, though, so be careful. Thank you, Aether Foundation. You guys seem like a nice group of people. You guys seem like a very nice group of people. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Alright, alright, Alolan Diglett. Let's see what you got. I want to see what high horsepower looks like. I want to see what that move looks like right now. Go for it, Clobber. Mud Slap. If I miss my high horsepower, I will be so furious. I will be so furious. I will be beyond furious. Come on, Clobber. You got this. Ooh. Oh, just a giant horseshoe? That's awesome. That is so awesome. Sammy Gird, level 24. Sammy wants to learn Fury Attack. Uh, I'll keep my old moves, thank you. I'll keep my old moves, thank you, Sammy. It's okay. I appreciate you, though. I do. I do, I do, I do. Oh. I think this is... Ooh, give me that item. What is that? Hyper Potion. I'll take that. I will take that Hyper Potion. This looks like a... Ooh. Ooh. I see you, big dog. Ah, no way. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who's dumb enough to be here right now. Crimson Seabed. How? Leave me alone. Ah, I was wondering who you were playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. Hey, you want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. All right, Team Skull. Go on ahead and bring it. Go on ahead and bring it on. I'm going to show you what I can do best. I'm going to show you what I can do best. Who are you leading on? Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, oh. Double battle time. Salandit and Fomantis. Oh. Salandit, I'm sorry. You are catching the finest of high horsepowers. The finest of high horsepowers. Alright. Because I know I can totally bulldoze and get everything. But I'll take out the Salandit first. Pikachu, you go for the... Go for the... Go for the Fomantis. Go for the Fomantis. Or we're double attacking the Salandit. One of the two. Goodbye, Salandit. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Dr. Hooper, level 27. I'm okay with that. Ra Fomantis, Razor Leaf, really, really big dog. Look, that's even super effective on my clobber, and it's not doing enough damage. I'm sorry. But it is, in fact, clobbering time. I'll go for a double kick on Fomantis. Please use Quick Attack. Oh, Fomantis kind of thick. Look at that. I did nothing. That's doing a lot more, though. Go, clobber, go! Ingrain. Okay, okay. Try thinking a little long term. Think a little long term. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. 
Uh, you're probably gonna out... Pikachu's probably gonna outspeed us, so I'm just gonna go for a double kick anyways. Just, yeah, quick attack, I'll take out the Fomantis easily. Easily enough. Easily enough. Alright. Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? That gloom that unfolds us like fog, we can't seem to shake it off. I know you can't. I know you can't. Because I am the bringer of destruction to Team Skull. Yo, step off. Enough with beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're so hot as bone out here. See you on the flip side. Man, Crimson Seabat, when I fight with you, it's like my Pokemon feel even more at ease. Maybe they are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just got to give you something. Oh, thank you for the Max Ether. I appreciate it. Max Ethers will restore all the PP to one of your moves, you know? Pretty great, right? Now I'm going to go have some more fun with those Diglett. See ya! All right, how you go have fun with the Diglett. Which one is Olivia's shop? My, why doesn't my map have this programmed in? Oh, why doesn't Rotom have this programmed in? The police station. All right, don't fight. Don't meet anyone's eyes. Oh. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? Oh, man. Police officer. Police brutality right here. Uh-uh. Police officer Haruki. Probably have a Growlithe. Look at that. Look at that. Called it. Called it. Alright. Oh, you're gonna intimidate me? You're gonna intimidate me? I'll tell you what, though. You're about to get high horsepower, Growlithe. Reversal? Fine by me. Go for it. Do all the damage you want. I got my stamina. You ain't testing my stamina. You ain't testing nobody. I missed the high horsepower during my rant. Come on. All right, Clobber. Fire Fang. All right, all right. My, my defense is increased. My defense is being increased again. I am going to use my highest horsepower. You are going to get up on out of here, Growlithe. And I am... All right, I'm just going for Bulldoze now. I'm done talking. I am done talking. I am done talking. My stamina is going up. Who are you about to tell, Growlithe? I'm about to come all up at you with a Bulldoze right now, lowering your speed, and then I'm going to go for a high horsepower. Actually, I'm going to go for a double K because that is guaranteed to defeat you in battle. No, I'm going for another high horsepower. I'm going for one more high horsepower, and I'm going to connect this one because I am a strong, independent Mudbray who don't need no Growlithe. I am a strong, independent Mudbray who don't need no Growlithe. Is that... This is a case. Or not. I know. It's okay. It's okay, bud. You tried. You tried. You really did. You really did. Alright, here we are in Coney Coney Town, I believe is what it was. I believe that's what this place is called, Coney Coney Town. Oh, there's a little Della bird. It's like a Chinatown. Hey, Probo Pass. What's up? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Alright, let's go heal up our Pokemon. It looks like we see her shop right over there. So we can go heal up our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center here before we go take her on. We can go to that. Yeah, rest up our tired Pokemon. We're kinda tired. We need some heals. We need some healths if you don't mind. Thank you, lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, lady. I'm actually going to wrap this episode up right here, guys. Next episode, we will be taking on the Grand Trial Master, Olivia the Kahuna of Akala Island here in Coney Coney Town. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on today's video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you do not miss out on further Pokemon Sun and Moon content. I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Later!